Hello there, and thanks for joining me. I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and in this video, I'm going to show you one of the new features of Adobe Photoshop CC 2018, and that is artificial intelligence upscaling. And what does that mean? Well, upscaling means that you're taking a small image and you're making it much larger. An AI or artificial intelligence is just a fancy word for letting the computer analyze the image and try to make better judgments about details that should be kept in the image when it gets larger. So I have this small preview of a larger painting, and right now you're viewing it at 100%, and if we go to image, image size, in pixels it's only 800 pixels wide by 548 pixels tall, so it's a rather small file. Now if we want to make this larger, we can simply just put in a different dimension, so if we want to make it twice as big, we'll do 1600 pixels. We'll make sure this lock is applied so we're linking the width to the height. And we have our resample mode. The new artificial intelligence mode is preserve details 2.0. But before we take a look at that, let's try it with the old mode first. So let's try Preserve Details Enlargement. And we won't worry about reducing any noise. We'll go ahead and just click OK. And it resized our image. But you can see that, especially in these areas where there's a blur and a lot of texture, everything got very, very soft. So I'm going to go ahead and select All, Copy. And I'm going to do a couple undos so that I revert to back before I enlarged it. I'm going to go to Image, Image Size. I'm going to put in the same 1600 pixels wide, and this time I'm going to choose Preserve Details 2.0. What's cool about this is you don't have to choose Enlargement or Reduction. Let's go ahead and just click on OK. We're enlarging it the exact same way, but this time the computer is analyzing it. I'm going to go ahead and just paste to paste in that example of my first enlargement, and we'll do some before and afters, and you'll be able to see a pretty big difference in quality here. So I'll just label this one before, this is before, and if I turn off the eyeball, then we're seeing the after. Before after, before, after. Now you will probably have to try this at home to really be able to see how it's working because I don't know how this is going to translate through YouTube if you'll be able to see all the detail. So let's try zooming in to a couple of key areas. Right now we're looking at the after. This is the before, this is the after. And if you look very carefully at the areas of high contrast, it's preserving a lot of detail and it's keeping a lot of the original texture in the image. Whereas if I do before, the old way of processing it and making it larger, it looks a lot blurrier, and it just has that enlarged look that doesn't look good. Now if we move on over to an area over here where there's this dried mud texture, and then it starts to get softer and more out of focus up here. Right now we're looking at the after. Let's look at the before. And you can see when you look at the pixels here, very blurry and blown up and blocky on the before. But if we do the after, there's all that nice sharp texture. So it's almost magically enlarging it. And of course, this is not as good as having painted your image large to begin with. But as far as enlarging images is concerned, before this feature, the results just didn't look that good. But now you actually might be able to get results that are fairly passable. For example, maybe this was intended to be printed rather small, and then if somebody wanted to order a poster of it from me, I'd kind of be stuck with this small version, and I could blow it up, but it wouldn't look very good. But now that we have this new artificial intelligence analyzing the image, and preserving a lot of that detail, I actually could blow up this smaller image into a larger image and print it and have it still look pretty good. Now, not only is this good for making artwork that's too small larger, but it's also good for working smaller to begin with so that your computer works faster and you don't have to focus on details so much, and then midway through your painting, upscaling it and making it larger. And that's really how I'm going to be using this the most. I'm gonna be doing my paintings at a lower resolution and then upscale them, and I'm going to see how it looks. I have a feeling it's going to look pretty good. Now let's try a different kind of image. This has a lot more lines in it, and lines are notorious for looking very blocky when you blow them up. So let's see what happens with this image. Let's make this way bigger. Let's try 3,600 pixels. And you can see it did a pretty good job. Now we need to compare that to the older version to really be able to tell what this is doing. So I'm going to select all and copy, and I'm going to undo to before I resized it. Let's just use the old mode here. Now I can already see it looks horrible along all the edges here. And if we paste in our after shot, you can see it's much sharper. A lot of that contrast is maintained. There isn't a weird blurry halo along the edge. So we're looking at the after. Now we're looking at the before. And pay very careful attention to that edge where the yellow's right up against the black. You got blurry, not blurry. Blurry, not blurry. And yes, it is a little artificial looking. It isn't absolutely perfect. It isn't going to add detail to an image. It's just not going to sacrifice more detail in making it larger. So this is a very cool feature. I like this a lot. 
If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more videos for digital artists like you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.